What up, everybody? It's DJ Son, and I'm back with another video on hopefully how to help you get better on Siege. So basically, what I'm gonna do this is not gonna be any different from other videos. I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all some clips of me playing, and then I'm gonna explain like what my mind state was or why I made some of the plays that I did make, and hopefully you can take what I say or look at what I do. And those of you in like the higher or the lower ranks, so to help y'all rank up and become better players. So right now I'm gonna let the first clip roll and then I'm gonna put the timestamp after the clip if you don't want to watch it because I'm gonna let the clip play in the background of why I'm like explaining or while I'm explaining stuff so you can skip ahead but for those of you that want to see it here it is and I'm gonna explain after the clip is over so here we go nah there was a knock there no nook was in here Oh. I just can't stand up, you know. There's something that might be dead. She was prone. One more, one more inside. One more object. No. Oh, you just got a point on DJ. Hello? That man was still on me. Yeah. Piano, 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 piano. Piano, 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 piano. He's going for the kid, I think. No, he's going in. He's going in. He's in games. He's still there, he's still there, he's still there. So in this first clip, I'm playing Cav on Outback, and none of these injuries I got were safe to go interrogate. And that's one thing you gotta think about when you're roaming and playing Cav. One of my friends said in theory one of my teammates would be there for the refrag after I went for the interrogation on the gridlock and terrace, but me personally, I don't really think that was a play. Maverick is the last alive with gridlock, and he's a 3 speed operator, so he could have made it to where I was before I got the interrogation off, so... That would have resulted in me dying and him getting them up. This tip is more operator specific to Cav, but can be applied to Romans in general. You have to visualize what the best play is to result in your team getting a W. That may be you just wasting time as a Romer. That may be you getting frags. But most of the time the play is, like especially if you're on somebody like Vigil, you have to waste as much time as possible. So even if they do frag you with a minute left, they have a minute to push sight and blow walls and all that type of stuff. So... This pretty much just boils down to you visualizing what the better play is, what op you want to play, what areas to hold, what's safe and unsafe, stuff like that. So you can't just get an injured and then get greedy and go for it because most of the time that will result with you getting a death and they get him up on the other team and now it's a 5 before because you got greedy. So just keep stuff like that in mind. Yeah. Oh, push back, push back. Aaron Master. Oh, that was a random scene. I just blew it. I'm weak. Yeah, you always just blow it. Huh? In Astro, in the rotate. Flash that shit. I lost my fight. Planting. 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 Good job. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Good shit. I got ping, so I had to make sure. Sometimes having patience is the key to winning the round. So if I had rushed back in the site instead of just holding where I was, I probably would have died along with my teammate. And sometimes there's nothing wrong with a little bait. So as you see, I might have had to use nose as a little informational depth. So uh, <laughs> when time wandered down, they got a little stress. I'm not telling y'all to bait your teammates. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying passive versus aggressive gameplay is something that y'all got to think about and when to use it. Sometimes it's best to just sit back and let the enemy try to figure out where you are. And by the time the clock hits zero, it's you and them mid plant. And hopefully you win that every time. I, I didn't lost some 1v1s when they planted. But, you know, those are, those are flukes. And that comes with you getting better. So just... Know when to be passive, know when to be aggressive, and that could be the difference of a winning and a loss. I got two reinforcements. Do you need them anymore? Anyway? Yeah, Damn! Mm. Mm. I watched that. Oh my <laughs> God. That man give a walk around like shit. Sweet.
Please tell me you killed Thermal. Hello? Where, where, where? Piano, 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 piano. In? Piano. I don't see nobody uh, outside, outside, outside. outside. Terrorists, that's terrorists, not piano. Alright, my bad. Good job, good job. Yo, someone's still on drone, drone you right now, dude. Yo, just go back to side of me. I can't, I can't. So basically, when you get droned out and you're holding an area, you do not have to run away from the area that you play in. Oh, I'll bet a lot of the teams like to push electrical and top garage first, like if you're playing games. So I played in office and party room with the top of garage leading in the office barricaded off. So I can at least have a silent queue, like when they push me from there. So you saw at least like four drones drawing me out during this clip. And like I said previously, you got to figure out if being passive or being aggressive is the best thing. So I went for the aggressive play here. It worked out well for me because I had to hold that side of the map down. You hear my teammates saying, like, yo, come back to site, come back to site. And I was like, I can't. And while I was getting frags, like, it was, I don't know, it was a little crazy for me. But I had to hold that until either I died or it was safe to go back in sight. Like, if I turned my back to them while they were pushing me and ran back, they easily would have killed me. So, again, moral of this clip is don't be afraid of drones coming at you. Be smart, and you can outsmart their pushes, and you can get frags by doing that. Visualize the right play. That's all we doing here. Just visualization. Oh my god. Diffuser on me. Diffuser on me. There's gonna be another one. Be careful. Don't fear it might be in lobby. I gotta rotate the whole top, bro. Low in which is someone coming out the door. Coming out. I can't even miss the door, but this is door. He fell back in. Coming out. 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 I ain't even know. He said I ain't done today. Oh my god. Oh, no. Oh, he bought hats? You don't even worry about it. You don't even worry about it. Thanks for your help. I'm gonna get that email. Soon. Wow. So when you're playing Bandit, your job is to trick the wall, like whichever the main wall is for the site that you're defending. You shouldn't worry about frags whatsoever until those thermite charges or those abandoned pellets are down. So playing this position requires you to trust your teammates a lot because nine times out of ten, they're the ones protecting you from getting picked. Like you can get picked through the floor, naded, or anything like that. So like, let's take Clubhouse for example, CCTV. You have the bandit trick the main wall in the in the server room or CCTV room, and there's a window that you can get naded from. Uh, if they push rafters, nobody's holding rafters, you can get picked from that. Buck can go lounge and blow the floor open. Like, there's multiple ways. Capital can fire arrow through the B window. There's a lot of ways that you can get picked. So, you got to trust your teammates and bring the right setup for you to be able to do that successfully. But in this clip, once I got the two thermite charges destroyed, my job was to hold them from getting in the site. So, after that, they can come through logistic. They can come through gym and the bedroom windows. They can come from main stairs. They can come from construction since the main wall can't be breached, stuff like that. They have to change their push since they can't get that main wall. So I chose to hold the jacuzzi wall because I can get to gym easily if they got in there. There was a rotate in the bathroom so I could get through there and into bedroom easily. I could see them push the logistics. Like that's the best route for me to take is just to hold in that area. So also, this is one thing that I just started doing and I have no clue why, is I reload my primary when I'm out of bullets instead of switching to my secondary. I don't know if a lot of y'all do that too, but that's one thing that y'all should pretty much 
trust yourselves with your secondary instead of, you know, oh, this is an SMG, I'll do better with this besides a pistol. And like I said, when it comes to that, I don't really believe in myself when it comes to, like, you know, pistols and secondaries and stuff like that. So I'm kind of scared to use them. But if you go in with that type of mind state of, like, you're scared and you don't think you could get a frag with the pistol or stuff like that, you'll lose every single gunfight you take. So you got to believe that you're better than the other person in your 1v1 or your 1v whatever and bring it home. Having a winner's mentality can go a long way in seed, so you got to make sure you stay positive. Negativity throws the team chemistry off, and even though even if you're not exuding that negativity to your teammates and it's within yourself, trust me, it has an effect on how you play. So just... If you're doing bad, hey, forget what happened in the last round. It's a new round. Go ahead and get the frags, bro. That's all I can tell you. Diffuser dirt, diffuser dirt. Drop, Cecil, drop. Blue, blue, blue. Ooh, that was almost shaky. So this kind of goes back with what I said about holding our area. So on bank, when you're defending the basement, a common pushes from dirt tunnel in the server and you blow the wall and try to plant, right? You being the defender, you have to think about what the best hold is to completely stop their push or at least slow it down. Like I said, wasting time. That's the biggest thing. So Thatcher is banned, which he almost is on bank. And Ellis Gadget will help me hold the dirt tunnel push, something serious. Now, this ain't really just about yourself. You also have to have the right setup as a team. If you're doing this hold, at least have somebody play Jaeger and give you two ADSs behind the server to protect you. At the bare minimum, you're going to need that Jaeger. So you you and Jaeger, even though he's not there, can hold that push. I didn't really have someone play blue, but I had another LMI in there. So again, I would have a sound cue to know what they're pushing. Having the right setup can be the difference maker in a round, even if you don't have the best gun skill. So if they hit that L of mine, even though I'm not the really, like, I'm not crazy with my aim. Like, I'm not the top tier aimer in there. I done had some blunders and seeds, man. There's some clips on my Twitch channel that's, whew. But even though I don't have the best gun skill, Ellis Gadget can help me win that fight. You have to use everything in that operator's arsenal to help you get that frag. No matter how cheesy it may be. I don't know if any of these clips or tests were clear cut. But these are just things that were going through my mind when I was playing rounds out and stuff like that. Hopefully you can take something I did or something I said or something with your mentality and put it into the way you play Siege and it actually helps you become a better player. Let me know if there's anything I should elaborate in in another video in the comment section down below or if I didn't explain something right or if I missed something. Your feedback will help me make better videos in the future so I appreciate the feedback. If it's positive or negative, like and subscribe for more Siege content, and I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace. Feeling fresh, summer recess. Got shorty wearing a cocktail dress. Yeah, she got style and excess. Ain't nobody match her to the best. Call a homie, maybe two. I finna link up and go and get a bro. Cause we ain't got school no more. We ain't got school no more. Got no